right, so up to this point, we've worked with a lot of uh, fruit and vegetables. Uh, time to switch into carbohydrate mode, maybe. Something a little bit different. So I've got a bagel here. And a uh, bagel from the top is a circle on the outside and a little circle, a little puckery looking circle on the inside there, right? So I would invite you to make yourself a sketch of this little mini bagel. Adorable little thing, huh? And when you've got your shape, don't forget the hole in the middle. And heck, this would work for a donut too, right? Same basic idea. Ring-shaped cakes, donuts, bagels, any of that stuff. All right. Now, I like this example because the shape is an odd shape. Uh, most people know what a cube and a cylinder and a cone is and a prism. Uh, you talk about geometric shapes. Uh, do you know what the name of this geometric shape is? This has a specific mathematical name. That's kind of cool. And not too many people I meet know it. It's called a torus. Yeah, torus. If you have multiple torus, they are tori. So, kind of like a tube that wraps around on itself, right? So here's what we want to do. We want to set it up with a cutting plane line. And we want to run a section through it. Through the middle. arrowheads on that cutting plane line so we can see where we're cutting and which way we're looking. We can project our edges down and it's probably a good idea to project the hole down too. And this is always challenging for people I think. Uh, what's the shape that this is going to look like from the front? So here is our sliced mini bagel. It's cut here. It says look that way. So pull away this side and now create a front view with what's left. And uh, isn't that weird? Isn't that so weird? It's round and it's round and then the connecting tube between the two round cuts is visible in between them. Hello. Oh yeah. So um, Sometimes we're working with shapes and we get some unusual results when we slice things open. So the mini bagel here is basically round on the ends. And then the part here is kind of like a tube. It's a roundish tube, like an inner tube. And that's the part we slice through. And then in between, well, we've got the surface of the torus as it goes away and then returns back to the other side. So now, which parts were cut through? Which parts are solid? Well, this side and that side, right? Now, don't get artsy on me here and start going in the opposite direction so that it looks symmetrical. If it's one piece, all the section lines need to go in one direction. There we go. And here is our full section of our bagel. All right. Green pepper. Do you eat these things raw? I love them raw. They're great. I mean, I like them cooked too, but raw, they're pretty awesome. So let's take a look. Most of us have sliced one of these open or know what they look like on the inside. So we take a look. We want to set this up with the top view looking down. And then do your best to capture the outside shape of a green pepper. I've got to say it's irregular. It's uh, a very fluid shape. And uh, uh, most people, when they see my green pepper, they're just so intimidated. They don't even want to try. But don't let that happen to you. Your green pepper will be fine, okay?
light. My gosh, it's so lifelike. It's almost like it's like I traced it or something. All right, and then when I look down on the top, not only does it have those three lobes, it's got this little hexagon shape here where the stem connects onto the fruit. And uh, not perfectly straight lines, you know. Uh, people build with straight lines. Uh, things in the natural world tend not to be perfectly straight. They tend to have a little bit of a curve or a little bit of a, a free-flowing form to them. And uh, we've got that here. Uh, we can see even the little stem at the top, how it connects to that part. All right, so what do we want to do? Well, you're probably getting the hang of it by now. We need to figure out where the cut happens. And then we need to draw our cutting plane line. And then we want to do a little theater of the mind, right? What are we expecting down here when we make that cut? Do you have any ideas about what we might see? What it's going to look like? No? All right, well, let's do it. We keep the top half, we pull it down, and this becomes our front view. And what an interesting mess we have here, huh? How cool is this? We got hollow stuff. We got things that are hollow. We can project down to show the rough width of this thing. Uh, the shape is, is quite interesting, wouldn't you say? Now let's look at some of the details about this thing. Up at the top here, I slice through the stem. That is solid. The walls of the pepper are thin but solid. But inside them, there's nothing. Uh, this is full of air. <laughs> the bulb at the top where the seeds are, well, that's solid. But then on this side, look at this big cavity here. That's totally empty. And over here, we have the rib from the wall. Again, it's solid right there, but there's a lot of empty space. So as we're setting up our drawing, we've got to think about, well, where is it solid? Where is it hollow? Because the fact is, I wouldn't want to use section lines in a part where it is hollow, because that defeats the whole point of having the section view. Where is it solid? Where is it hollow, right? All right, so all of this is solid. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to section line it. That would include the stem. And the walls. And on mine, the right wall is a lot thicker than the left wall. And I try to show that here in my section drawing. All right, thick wall, thin wall hollow in the middle. Now there is a little ridge back here and because I can see it, you know what, I'm going to draw it. I can see it, I'm going to draw it. So there's that ridge and if you want to get all horticultural on me, I guess if you had some seeds and you can see them, well, you should draw them too because they're visible, right? All right. Once again, Full section. Full section of our green pepper. All right, so we've got a hard boiled egg, and uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this guy's going to cut it in half, right? Wrong. Yeah, we're going to do something different. How's that sound? Let's do something a little bit different, because I think by now you know what a full section is. So here is my hard-boiled egg. I'm looking down on the pointy end from the top. I would like to make a top view of this hard-boiled egg. And of course, it's pretty roundish from the top, right? There we go. Ta-da! 
Okay, and then you know the next drill, we go in and we figure out where the cut happens, but this time we're going to do something a little bit different, okay? This time, instead of cutting fully through the part, we are going to have a cutting plane that does something a little freaky. And do you see what the cutting plane is doing? It goes in, but then it bends 90 degrees. Or you can think that it goes in this way and then bends 90 degrees that way. We're going to cut out a quarter of this egg. And when it's done, we're going to look in that direction and make the front view a section view of our egg here. So this is something we haven't done yet, right? This is something new and exciting. And of course, eggs are kind of sloppy, so I'm trying to be careful here. Turn on lights. Turn on lights. Thank you, lights. Wow, interesting. What is going on here? Well, I cut into it and I removed a quarter of it. It's kind of like Pac-Man now, right? Well, Pac-Man shape. And now when I look at it, when I look at the outside, on the left hand side, I just see the outside of the egg. On the right hand side though, I see inside the egg. And I see that there's yolk and there's white. Okay, so this kind of section, the view you make, will be half sectioned and half not sectioned. Now this is not a full section. This is a different kind of drawing. And if you had to guess what it was called, what would you guess? What would we call this thing? Well, if you said a half section, you are absolutely correct. Yeah, so right, the uh, left-hand side, not sectioned. The right-hand side, sectioned. The left-hand side, what's on the outside? What do you see? Well, nothing. I see egg. Nothing exciting. What's on the inside, though? Well, this part here was cut through. This was the white. Uh, but this part here, the yolk, well, that is a different material, right? So, not sectioned on the left, sectioned on the right. The view is only half sectioned, so this is called, my good friends, a half section. That is a half section. And why do you do this? Well, you get more bang for your buck, especially on something that is cylindrical. <laughs> I can show the outside and the inside at the same time. I don't need two separate drawings. And that's the beauty of a half section. Now, to go back a minute, you remember our pepper example there? We made a full section drawing of our pepper. Cut it completely in half. And the view we projected down and created was fully sectioned. Well, just for kicks, what would have happened if we had done this? What would have happened if instead of cutting it in half, we only cut out the bottom left quarter? Well, you know what? We can find out. So I'm going to do some pepper reconstructive surgery here. And you see I've turned it into a section where I only cut out a quarter. Now there's a quarter missing. And when I look at it dead on, well, the left side is in section. The right side is not. The right side is just what's on the outside. So the drawing that that would produce is going to look like this. The left side is in section. The right side is not. Just what's on the outside, what's on the inside. Okay, half section. 